Proceed and I'm planning a spaz on all of my competition. They all jog while I'm sprinting. Decapitate them all with these catastrophic bars I've written. And then I go cannibalistic. You need it for breakfast. Got you another rapper off of my checklist. I bench press threats that they threw on my neck. It's survival of the fittest and I'm in my prime. Over the course of three years, I've become so reckless. What's going on guys, it's Garrett, and to many guys, a video on how to create your very own Black Ops 3 eye-catching thumbnail. So basically, what I want to bring, like, show you guys how to do is actually create these so people would want to click on them, make sure they're bright, and uh, get your point across really easily. So I'm going to get right, in, right into the tutorial, and I'm going to start off showing you guys more examples of these. So what I did is this went on YouTube, and I actually just looked at these, and you guys can see that the most kind of viewed ones and the most like ones that people want to see is just basically the ones that have the most bright things and uh, pretty much grabs your attention first so let's see you guys see these but uh you pretty much would rather click on this one than that one like let's be honest here this has like a better point going across it so i'm going to bring shane like bring you guys a tutorial on how to create your very own pop-up ones so uh what I did a little while ago is I released a Black Ops 3 template here, and you guys can just go and download this now if you guys want. Uh, just get the tutorial over with, but this is not what we're what we're gonna be making. It's gonna be a lot different. So, well, this is gonna be pretty much what we're gonna be making today. And it's actually really easy, and it's really easy to like change and create more things with. And uh, I'm just super stoked to bring it to you guys. So, what you wanna do is starting off, go in the description and download a link in the description called the Basic. So this is going to be the basic outline of what you guys are going to want to use. So I pretty much made this for you guys so you guys can just do it faster and uh, more reliable and it's easier. And all it is is a nice little border glow and like a little drop shadow uh, curve here and a bottom fade. So uh, what you want to do first is just take your Black Ops 3 text right here and just drag it in the middle. And this pretty much is going to be the uh, what telling, what, like, telling the people what you're going to be uh, playing. So make sure that's centered. I think that's centered, if not whatever. And uh, you're gonna start with your text. So what you wanna do is just grab your text tool and just type in whatever you want it to do. I'm gonna take prestige fast, and you're gonna put let's just say we put ultimate guide. All right. And for the font, I'm using this font called Long Shot Regular. I will leave a link in the description for it. It's actually a really nice font to do stuff like this, and I actually really recommend it. And also, you guys are going to need to download my 3,000 subscriber layer style pack for this layer style right here if you guys are using it. So uh, what this layer style does, if I just highlight both these texts and click on it, it actually makes them a little bit glossy. It's a kind of like a, a nice metallic uh, gray to white to gray kind of um, layer style. So we'll go download my layer style pack. It'll be in there, and uh, that's what I recommend using. So you guys can actually use anything, any color you guys want. I just recommend using that myself. So uh, what you want to do is just make your text a bit bigger so it pretty much takes up most of your screen just like that much because yeah that's good because if you guys go back onto these they actually take up not that much space like that is a little bit of a box to look at rather than looking at this while you're making it so you guys need to have this pretty much here. So uh, if you guys are done with your text, this is what you want to do next. Make sure everything's correct uh, grammar-wise, and you want to like, you're sure you want to use this. And just hit Control E, which kind of rasterizes and merges these two layers, and then go to Edit, Transform, Perspective, and then drag this towards the center a little bit, and then drag this outwards. So it's kind of like a nice little drop. So what you want to do is just bring that down and center it from like here to here. So that's pretty much good. And then click on top of that bottom fade right here, and just hit a new layer. So what you want to do is just grab your brush on a size like 300, and I'm using an orange color, and you guys can pretty much use anything, but if you guys are using, let's say, blue in the background, use an orange bottom fade, or excuse me, a purple bottom fade. If you guys are using red, use a, uh, I want to say use like a orange. You guys got to match your colors, but I'll show you for a second. So what you want to do is just pretty much color in the bottom. I don't know it's how, it's like, uh, how else to explain it. So uh, you just pretty much just do that. And then lower the opacity a little bit to about like 80. So this is this brings the uh, the colorful aspect to it. So the next thing I want to do is actually make a new layer under that, and then just change this to black. And on using your brush, just kind of make a black drop or right behind your text, and just lower the opacity to about like 30s, just so it like brings out the text a little more. So. Now what you want to do is just go over to Google and type in Black Ops 3 Prestige PNG. So this is pretty much giving you guys the uh, prestiges of the new 
Black Ops 3. This is what I'm going to be using. I'm using the Master Prestige one, but you guys can use any one that looks cool to you. So what you want to do is just pretty much save this. You're going to right click on it and save it as a PNG to your desktop. And then just open it right back up in Photoshop and just drag it in. So what you want to do is pretty much make this and put this wherever you want. I'm actually going to put this about right here. So it matches the top border and the right like the right side of the border. And you can just put this above everything. And you can duplicate it and put it over there. But I think that's actually that's a good size. And then you guys can just go to the blending options. And you guys can mess with stuff like you can put like an outer glow. Let's just say we put like an orange outer glow. Make sure it's on normal. Maybe a little darker. Actually, put this behind your text. So it just leaves a little glow, but I'll be doing something else with this. So uh, this is basically the logo stuff. I'm actually going to make these a tad bit smaller. I don't like how they're so big. You can't really clutter these spaces. Like I know it's a little bit of a small space to work with, but you can't really overdo it because then it'll just look sloppy and then not many people will click on it. So you guys got that. It's all spaced out correctly. So now what you want to do is pretty much add extra stuff to this. So what I'm going to do is add arrows. So if you go to Google and just type in like, let's just say curved arrows PNG, there's going to be a bunch of these, but I already saved some. So I'm going to open it back up. See what it saved us. Curved arrow. Curved arrow. And then you want to just drag this straight into your template that you're using. And then just flip it vertically, whatever you want to using so it's pointing upwards. And then you just want to mess with the size and pretty much you just put it like right there and then put this above your text so it's like that and then just delete the bottom so it looks like it's coming under it so uh, what you want to do now is actually add another layer style onto it but what you guys can do is just click on the silver one and go to blending options and just change the gradient colors to different ones so you guys can change the white one to like an orange and the other one to like a yellow and then go with the same thing but I already have one saved so I'm just going to add that onto it, right click, and then flip it horizontally. I was going to say 90 degrees, but horizontally. And you're pretty much just going to put it to the same spot. So uh, now that you, like, if you guys zoom out a little bit, you guys are going to be like, oh, so you are getting pretty much got your point across. So uh, the next thing I want to do is pretty much add extra things. So if you guys go back to mine right here, I added the prestige in the background. So what you want to do is pretty much just grab your prestige logo duplicate it uh, let's duplicate this one and uh, put it in the middle and just hit shift and just drag really big and then bring it to like, the bottom left hand corner and just do the same thing so it covers a lot and it will get pixelated but it won't really matter that much so you guys can put it right there and just put it behind the uh, black and white hue and then put it up so it looks like he's like looking above it so that it just creates this nice little like I guess you want to call it a uh, glowing effect in the background so it's not just too plain. So what I'm going to do next is just make a new layer above the bottom fade or wherever you, want, wherever you want to put it. Actually put it in the top just so it's easier for you guys. And then put the size down to about 2, actually go back to like 3, maybe two, like 250. And then I'm going to click one up here so it creates a nice glow. And then click one each on the uh, emblem itself, the prestige logo. And just lower the opacity a bit, and then you're good. So now that you zoom out, it's like this. So if we go back to the one that I made before, um, I had extra space in the bottom right here, so I added the Xbox One logo. Let's just say that you guys don't have enough space right here, and you guys want to add your PS3 logo, your Xbox logo. What you guys can do is actually something a little cool I used to do on my old uh, thumbnails. You could click right here, and then click right here, and just kind of drag it a little bit. Actually, it's a little bit too uh, small. Let me click up here and click up here. All right, and then you guys can just merge these. Whoa. It's a lot easier when I'm not doing a tutorial. All right, and then you guys can just fill this. Let's just say a green color. I don't know. Oops. 
No, of course I do on that layer. Whatever, I don't need that layer. Fill it with the green color. And then you guys can just throw the Xbox One logo into it. But I think I have enough room here. So what you guys can do is just grab the logo of your choice of what your console is. And just drag it in. And just kind of make it smaller. This doesn't have to be super big. And then you can just throw it in the bottom middle of your console. Or your, not your console, of your layout. And just center it with the text. So, uh, yeah. And then if you guys zoom out, take those rulers off, you guys have this. So, uh, pretty much what this is, is your thumbnail here. And the only bad part about making this thumbnail is you cannot change the text. You have to redo the text every time. And uh, it is a pain to do, but honestly, it's a lot better than just uh, having a boring layout. So, for 50 likes, I'll be releasing this to you guys. I'll leave a link in the description for it at 50 likes. And I'm pretty sure you guys can hit this pretty quick since Black Ops 3 just came out. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. If you guys haven't seen my gaming videos, uh, please go check those out. I'm actually going to start doing both now. I'm trying to space them out. And uh, the new isometric tutorials will be coming out the next day on Friday. So I uh, hope you guys really enjoyed this. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or even have a tutorial suggestion of your own, please let me know. And uh, I think that's about it. So go download the basics. It's actually going to be a little template in the uh, description below to start you off on this. And then there's going to be this at 50 likes. But uh, that's about it. So I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Peace out.